Hi everyone, it's me, Sharni Kisses, bringing you another episode of Safer Sex with Sharni Kisses. Today's episode was filmed on May 7th, so things could have changed, but right now we are still in the midst of the coronavirus, so we're still taking precautions to stay safe. Um, I know in a previous video I said to avoid hooking up if you can. Um, so this video is for the, for ideally after this pandemic is over, or it's also for the people who are going to listen to me and they're going to hook up anyway, because if you are going to not listen to me and hook up, the least you can do is hook up safely, because unfortunately there's still a lot of crazy people in the world. Just this past December, someone um, in Southeast Michigan was actually killed um, they believe it was through someone they were meeting up through Grinder. So these things do happen. So it's just important to do what you can to stay safe, especially if you are meeting someone from an app such as Grinder, Scruff, Growler, you know, any of those type of apps. So I'm just going to give you 10 tips to help stay safe for hooking up. Uh, the first being decide if you're hosting or traveling. Establish that first. Um, personally, I find hosting safer because I feel you know your own house better than some a stranger does. So if things go wrong, you know where weapons are, you know where to hide, you know what rooms you could lock them in and call the police, versus if you're in a stranger's house, you don't know, do they have a giant dog hiding somewhere, you know, you don't know the exits of their house. So again, if you can host, um, but if you don't feel comfortable with having someone know exactly where you live, you can travel. Also, you know, hotel, you can get hotels, you know, that's, there's a risk with that as well. But again, that could be a safer route versus, you know, going to somewhere who you don't know's place. Um, my second tip is to establish right away with the person what you are comfortable doing and not doing sexually. Um, there's a variety of things you can do sexually, whether, you know, it's typical sex stuff, whether it's kinky stuff, whether it's fetishy stuff. So it's important to establish right away what you're comfortable with. So when messaging someone on the apps, you know, say that you are comfortable with making out, oral sex, anal sex, rimming, if that's what you're comfortable with. If you're only comfortable with um, cuddling, making out, and oral sex, let them know that. Um, if you are down for water sports, you know, that's your prerogative. Let them know that. But, you know, don't say you're down for whatever and then go in there and then whatever shows its face and you're like, ooh, I didn't agree to that at all. So, again, err on the side of caution. Establish right away what you are comfortable and comfortable with. Um, my third tip for hooking up safely is to make sure that um, you do talk about your sexual health. So talk about... HIV testing, talk about SCI testing. Um, if you are HIV positive, you know, let them know, like, whether you're undetectable or not. Also, um, if you are on PrEP, let them know. So, you know, it's what you, you know, all these things are things that can help you decide even more what you're comfortable doing. So, um, maybe you don't feel comfortable barebacking someone um, when you don't know their status, but if you do know that they're on PrEP, or undetectable, maybe a few more couple of air backing. Ideally, you should still use a condom, but again, knowing these things can help you make the best decisions for you. So again, um, condoms, you know, ask about, ask about their, you know, how they feel about condoms, ask about PrEP, ask about STI testing, ask all these questions so you can establish what you're comfortable doing with them. Um, four, get as much details about the person as possible. Again, sometimes with anonymous hookups, you're not going to get much info, but, you know, if you are traveling, you know, get their name, um, get their phone number if you can get it, um, things of that nature, or even the very least, like, get their profile, save their profile, and let them, so that way, you know, you at least can know what to share with someone. Um, so, and again, it's important, especially if something does go wrong, it's good to have as much information, so if something does bad happen, you can at least hopefully stop it from happening again in the future. So, um, with that, the um, next tip I want to give is find a sex positive friend that you can inform about the hookup. Um, I think this is the biggest thing. It kind of goes back with getting the information. Um, 
having someone else know where you are can really be a life-saving thing. So now it's hard though, because sometimes we do have friends and they judge us if we have too much sex or if we're having sex at all. So again, find someone in your friends list who you know you can say talk about sex with and they're sex positive and they're not gonna judge you. So find that friend, message them, say, hey, I met this guy on Grindr, I'm gonna hook up with them. Um, this is their name, this is where they live. And then, you know, uh, you know, make an agreement, like, if I don't call you by three in the morning, um, can you text me? And if you don't hear from me within 10 minutes of that, call the police, you know, establish these things with that friend because the friend will keep you safe. Now, that being said, if you are going to pick a friend, make sure that is a friend who, if you are hooking up late at night, make sure it's also going to be a friend that's going to be up because the last thing you want is to have a friend like, yeah, I'll help you, and then they fall asleep and you're in danger. So again, pick your sex positive friend who's going to be reliable and help you during this. Um, that brings me to my next tip. Um, bring condoms and lube and other means for safer sex. Um, never assume that they have it, even if they do have it. I've had instances where I've hooked up with someone and I thought they had everything, and then it turns out they, they didn't have anything. Um, and actually, I've been in a situation myself where I thought I had condoms, and turns out I thought wrong. So it's very important to make sure that you have condoms and lube, especially if you want to make sure that they are being used because sometimes people say they're fine using it, but then their goal is to trick you by have you not bringing any, and then, oh, I don't have them. Well, let's still do stuff. So again, bring condoms and lube will make sure that you stay safe if you are going to engage in safe sex. Moving on, um, <clears throat> if you are hooking up with someone who's on PrEP, don't be afraid to ask for proof of their PrEP. Um, I've done it before hooking up. I've actually asked them to show me the bottle and they showed me the bottle and every, you know, I look for things. I look for the date. I just, you know, again, it's just airing. Some of you may think I'm being paranoid, but it's more of, again, for safety. So if they're on PrEP, and you're go going to them, don't be afraid to ask to see the bottle. So, um, my next tip, 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 my next tip is to re remember that you have every right to change your mind about anything concerning a hookup. So, if you agree to making out, rimming, and oral, and then when it kind of comes and you decide you don't want to rim them because now you're not so comfortable with it, that is fine. If you are hosting someone and they tell you that they are no longer comfortable doing something they agreed to earlier, you know, don't shame them. Don't be mean. You know, sex is something that should be very consensual. And if someone changes their mind on something, they have absolutely every single right to change their mind on something. So be a respectful partner um, in that way if someone tells you they don't want to do something. And, you know, be respectful when you change your mind. Say, I thought I was comfortable with it, but I'm not. I apologize. You know, things like that to help keep, your, you know, cool the situation. Um, if you are in a hookup, this is going back to that friend rule. Um, if you are in a hookup and it's going bad, maybe the person catfished you and they don't look like the way they do, or... You know, maybe you're just in an environment and you just don't feel safe in the environment. Have a safe word that you can text your friend to call you. So, for example, maybe the sex word is drag queen. And so I would text my friend drag queen and they go, ooh, the hookup's bad. So then the friend will call me and they can make up something which gives me an excuse to leave. For example, maybe, oh, because again, the person... That this all depends on what you've told your hookup. If you didn't tell your hookup your living situation, you can be like, oh, you know, my roommate just called and they're locked out of the apartment and they can't find their keys and they need in, so I need to get going. <clears throat> so again, have a safe word with your friend to let them know if a hookup's going south and you need bailed out. Um, finally, my last um, tip for hooking up safely is when the hookup is done, whether it went good or bad, and you leave. If you did establish with a friend, let them know that you're fine and you're safe. So nothing can be scarier than if you told your friend, like, oh, I'll call you, like, at, but by 3 in the morning to let you know everything's fine, and, oh, it turns out 
and then you don't call, and then your friend thinks you're dead, and then, oh no, I just passed out right away when I came back home. So just make sure you do the responsible thing and follow up with that friend. Or even if on the flip side, maybe the hookup's going very well and you're going to stay the night, you know, let that friend know, hey, change of plan, things are going well, I'm going to stay the night. Can I, you know, if you don't hear from me by 11 a.m., you know, please call. So again, just establish these things with your friends. Again, all these tips um, are just my personal recommendations. They're not from anything, like any scholarly sources. It's just been more my personal experiences. But again, it's just very important because there are some weird people and there's also people who have no problem catfishing you. So it's just make sure you do what you can if you are going to hook up during these times to hook up safely. So um, that's it for now. More episodes will be coming soon. So thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Wash your hands and be safe.